Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Madi Dotfar. Today and in this video I'm gonna explain to you about a new type of reaction in chemistry. I mean about Kili chemistry reaction. First I'll give you an introduction about uh, Kili chemistry and in the following I'll explain to you about the most important types of Kili reaction. At the end if you like my video please like it and also press the subscribe button and hit the bell in this case you will get notification whenever i publish and upload a new video on youtube so now let's go ahead as i already mentioned kili chemistry is a, a new science and it refers to 2001 here i would like to make you familiar with three scientists with sharpless kolb and finn they are inventor of kili chemistry reaction but what does kili chemistry mean Kili chemistry is a class of robust chemical reaction. I mean, if you are looking for robust bond, it's better to use Kili chemistry reaction. For example, sometimes, especially for surface functionalization and functionalization of nanoparticles, we need very robust bond. Then it means Kili reaction or Kili chemistry can be a very, very good candidate for surface functionalization and also functionalization of nanoparticles. Kili chemistry has a lot of advantages for example simple reaction condition condition for doing click reaction is very simple uh, compatibility with different kinds of solvent especially water is another advantage for click chemistry reaction reaction rate for a click reaction is very high for most of the uh, click reaction reaction rate is very high high yields and also high efficiencies another advantage for Kili chemistry reaction, but I think the most important advantage is generation of minimal and non-toxic byproducts. For most of the uh, Kili reactions, we don't have any byproduct, and if we have any byproduct, most probably it's completely non-toxic. There are uh, many types of Kili reaction, but here and in this video, I'm gonna explain to you about the most important ones and i would like to start with the most popular type of click reaction i mean i would like to start with a copper catalyzed azide alkyl cyclo addition or cuaac it's a reaction between azide and linear alkyl in the presence of copper as a catalyst a product will be a triazole and i mean product will be a five membered ring we can also do this reaction, this kili reaction in the presence of heat instead of copper. I mean, again, reaction between azide and linear alkyne. And in this case, we need to increase the temperature to 100 degree. And we will have two isomers. I mean, one and four teriazole and one and five teriazole. We can use rotenium instead of copper. Again, rotenium can be a catalyst. In this case, we call it uh, roten rotenium alkyne azide cyclo addition uh, product will be 1 and 5 teriazole, but when we use copper, product will be 1 and 4 teriazole. For doing CUAAC, we need to use a copper as a catalyst. Uh, copper is toxic. Then in biological studies, we cannot use this type of chilic reaction. Then we have a big problem with this type of click reaction. Maybe you ask me, we can use uh, this reaction in the presence of heat. When we use heat instead of uh, copper as a catalyst, we will have two big problems. The first problem is here, when we need to use, when we uh, use heat, we have to increase the temperature to 100 degree. High temperature can have destructive effect. And also, when we use heat instead of uh, copper, this reaction is very, very slow. Then, question is here, how can we overcome to this problem? Then, I suggest you to use another type of chilic reaction, and it's esterine promoted azide alkyne cyclo addition, or SPAAC. What's the difference between SPAAC and CUAAC? When we replace linear alkyne with a cycloalkyne, we call it SPAAC. 
Again, it's a reaction between azide and alkyne, but here we have cyclo-alkyne. In this case, we don't need to use catalyst. I mean, we don't use uh, copper in this type of click reaction. And also, this reaction is very, very fast. Then, when we use cycloalkyne instead of linear alkyne, we don't need to use copper. I mean, we don't need to use catalyst. Uh, there are different types of cycloalkyne that uh, they can uh, participate in reaction, I mean, in click reaction with azide group. And here you can see some commonly used cycloalkyne for SPAAC. For example, we have bicyclononine or BCN. We have monofluorinated octyne or MOFO. Also, we have DFO or defluorinated octyne. We have dibenzo uh, cyclooctane. Also, we have biarilaza uh, cyclooctane or barak, and dibenzo cyclooctane or dipco. Question is here: What's the difference between different types of cycloalkyne? Depends on uh, cycloalkyne that uh, is used in this type of click reaction. Definitely, reaction rate will be different. For example, when we use Barak as a, uh, a cycloalkyne, we will have the maximum reaction rate. But when we use MOFO, we will have the minimum reaction rate. The next example for kili chemistry is SPANC. In this case, we replace azide with nitron. I mean SPAANC or estrin promoted alkyne nitron cycloaddition. It's a type of kili reaction and it's a reaction between cycloalkyne and nitron. For SPAAC, it's a reaction between azide and cycloalkyne, but here SPANC, it's a reaction between alkyne and nitron. It's not very practical in chemistry, then let's uh, skip and go for the next type of chilic reaction. The next one is uh, thioline coupling, and also we call thioline coupling uh, alkyne hydrothiolation. And thioline coupling, first I would like to start with thioline uh, coupling or thioline chilic reaction, thioline chilic chemistry. It's a reaction between thiol and linear alkyne. It's a two-step reaction. First, uh, one thiol can participate in the reaction with a, a linear alkyne and triple bond turn into double bond. And in the following second thiol, I mean in the following, in sec and in second step, second thiol uh, will participate in reaction and double bond turn into single bond. For doing this type of click reaction, we need UVI radiation and also we need photo initiator. Uh, product will be uh, a new type of, uh, I mean, product will be thioether. We call the product thioether. Here you can see, here we have a triple bond, but here we have single bond because uh, two thiol, you can see two thiol can participate in reaction, first triple bond turn into double bond, and in the presence of second thiol, double bond turn into single bond. Uh, there is another type of kilic reaction, and it's thiolene coupling. Thiolene coupling, it's a reaction between thiol and alkene. Alkene, I mean, you can see we have double bond, and in the presence of one thiol, uh, double bond turn into single bond. I mean, it's a one step reaction because we only need one thiol. So, until now, we have learned five different types of kilic uh, reaction, and now let's go for six one thioline. When we use linear alkyne, again. We have to use a UVI radiation and also photo initiator for doing this type of click reaction. When we use UVI radiation, again, it can have the destructive effect. I mean, in biological study, we cannot use thioline when we have linear alkyne. But again, when we replace cycloalkyne with linear alkyne, we don't need to use UVI radiation and also we don't need to use photo 
initiator. I mean, we can replace cycloalkyne with linear alkyne, and again, reaction between thiol and cycloalkyne, and product will be something like this. It can be done without UV radiation and also without photo initiator. When we have linear alkyne, please note, it's very, very important. When we have linear alkyne, two thiols can participate in a click reaction. But we have cycloalkyne, only one thiol can participate in reaction with alkyne. I mean triple bond turn into double bond. Maybe you ask me, we expect to have something like this. And again, uh, double bond turn into single bond. No, we don't have something like this. It's very important. When we have cycloalkyne, only one thiol can participate in reaction with alkyne, but when we have linear alkyne, definitely two thiol can participate in reaction. Now, uh, let's go for the next example for uh, Kilik mystery, and it's thiol and Michael ad addition. Thiol and Michael addition, uh, we have two different types of uh, thiol and Michael addition. It's, uh, one of them is reaction between thiol and malamide, and another one is reaction between thiol and acrylate. Malamide is an uh, unsaturated imid. Uh, you can see a, a double bond in the structure of malamide. It's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, uh, it can participate in reaction with thiol, and it will give us this product. And also, in, in, in the structure of acrylate, we have a double bond. Double bond can, part, I mean, it's a type of alkene. It can participate in reaction with uh, thiol, and we will have this product here. You can see the new bond after doing click reaction in pink color, and also here. It's new bond, I mean the pink bond. It's new bond after doing click chemistry reaction. Yeah, in the malamide is uh, unsaturated in it, and it's highly reactive to thiol. I mean, it likes to participate in reaction with thiol. But please note, it's very, very important. Uh, for doing this type, for doing Thiol and Michael addition, we need a weak base, or uh, we need a, a nucleophile uh, compound. It's very important. Otherwise, we cannot have this type of click reaction. Which base and which one is better? Which base or nucleophile compound? Which one should we use uh, for doing this click? this type of click reaction. When we use a nucleophile compound, click reaction should be faster than when we use weak base. But the thing is here, the, the thing is here, when we use nucleophile compound, reaction rate will be very slow, slower than when we use weak base. I mean weak base and nucleophile compound, both of them have uh, their advantage and disadvantage. Another type of click reaction is a DL Zolder cycloaddition. DL, we can have it in four different shapes. I mean, DL Zolder cycloaddition can be done in uh, four different shapes. For all of them, uh, product will be a six-membered ring. You can see in all of them, product is a six-membered ring. I want to. I would like to start with here this type of reaction. Deals all their cycloaddition. It's a reaction between cyclopentadiene and uh, malamide. We can use uh, tetrazine. Tetrazine is a six membered ring with four nitrogen. It can participate in reaction with alkene. And again, we will have a six membered ring. We can use DN. DN can participate in reaction with. DNOphile, and also we can use cyclodien. I mean cyclodien after reaction with DNOphile. It's another example for DL-Zolder-Kilic reaction. Also, 
also there is another type of uh, click reaction and we call it ring opening ring opening is another type of uh, click reaction different functional group can participate in ring opening i mean ring opening for epoxy i want to give you an example for ring opening and i would like to uh, give you this example i mean uh, epoxy epoxy is something like ring different functional groups can participate in ring opening and i would like to start with thiol thiol is a molecule that it can participate in ring opening with epoxy and here you can see the products but please note for doing this reaction we need to use uh, but please note for doing this reaction uh, we need to use terethyl amine otherwise we cannot have ring opening we can also use amine group when we use amine group uh, we can have again ring opening for epoxy i mean here we don't have ring anymore but when we use amine for ring opening we have to use catalyst for example we can use lithium chloride we can use zinc perchloride we can use a uh, bismuth as a catalyst and also we can use azide group here you can see we can use azide group for doing this uh, ring opening but when we use azide this reaction should be a little bit complicated i mean azide first needs to turn into amine and in this case we, uh, we have to use uh, phosphine we call it a staudinger reaction i mean a staudinger reaction means uh, azide in the presence of epoxy and phosphine can turn into amine and now we have amine something like this after that again we need to use catalyst for example we need to use a uh, bismuth and then we will have ring opening uh, thanks for watching this video hope uh, it was uh, useful for you if you have any question or comment you can ask me you can write in comment and again if you liked it please like it and uh, press the subscribe button and hit the bell in this case you will get notification whenever i upload a new video because in the near future uh, i'm gonna upload some more videos thanks again and bye